little battlement in front of us. So, Will, first class debut. Welcome to the first class scene. Thank you very much. Reflections on that first day. Um, yeah, I thought it was a really good day. Um, even quite evenly matched, but um, the boys stuck out it really, really well. Um, obviously, not the best of starts, but we knew if we kind of executed our plans and hit our lines and lengths, the wickets would come, and they did during the end of the day. Would have been nice to get a couple of more, but uh, for boys, it's not going really hard. Moving into the first class scene from, you've played a number of second 11 games, played club cricket and scored a century on, on yeah. Saturday. Um, this is a different world, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I was playing at Chelmer Park on Saturday in club cricket. Uh, obviously no one really watches that. And then coming to, coming to Headingley where there's quite a lot of people down here today. Um, obviously the, the pitch, the outfield, Test ground is just unbelievable, and I was yeah, I was, I was very proud. Indeed. You've had a sense of the uh, first team, the uh, first team action, haven't you? It called in that the Agias bowl because of an injury to uh, yeah. Adam Wheater. Um, now called into the side because of an injury to Robbie White. So it seems like a bit of a poison chalice this uh, wicket keeper's uh, yeah. role for us this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, with bad luck to all the other keepers. Like they've not had the best of luck. Um, and hopefully they'll be back soon. But it's obviously I really enjoyed taking my chance. Um, hopefully I can do something with the bat as well. You were involved in uh, two dismissals there, and uh, that was justified and uh, deserved for the way you kept so tidily today. Um, and to the top scorer, so uh, you know when they get the nick, you've got to take those chances, haven't you? You don't get a second opportunity. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, I had to wait around quite quite long for it, but um, I knew they'd come. So, yeah, I was pleased once they came. Do you feel drained at the end of your first day? Oh, yeah, I feel, I feel quite tired because yeah. obviously I was quite nervous last night when I got told I was playing. So, um, kind of like all the mental the drain I've had, it's kind of, yeah, it's hit me a bit now, but uh, I was pleased with how today went and the nerves have gone. One thing we don't see from, out, from outside of the boundary line, uh, the conversations. What's the conversation like with uh, Sir Alistair Cook and Simon Harbour? <laughs> yeah, obviously, it's not bad having two test cricketers uh, right. next to you in the slips. Um, you learn a lot off them, and they're very encouraging to me and very positive, and always there to help. So, yeah. great people to have next year. You'll reflect on a great day's uh, play for you personally and for Essex, because as you mentioned there, we got back into the game, didn't we, that second half, uh, the last session of the game? probably on as even isn't it at the end yeah of the I reckon it's evenly matched uh, the wicket's a good wicket obviously short boundary one side um, but there's something in there for the bowlers as well so yeah we, we took our chances um, and hopefully we can get four quick four quick wickets in the morning